Today I'm going to show you the Sensor One 2005 population monitor. It does 1 to 24 rows. And now we're in the operation mode. Once the information is displayed, you'll see on top that you have a bar graph. The top of the bar graph will be the high population, the bottom of the bar graph will be the low population. And in the middle is the average population set. As you see, we have the population, speed, total acres, and fill acres. These are the things that you could set to monitor as you're moving. You'll see scan row, and it's scanning row 6, now 7, and it's going through each row 1 through 16, because we have 16 sensors. I'm going to take you through the different functions that we have. We're going to move the cursor by rotating the knob where we want to display. So I moved it to the population and I'm just going to rotate it all the way around to show you the other functions this monitor has. So when you press enter, you have total acres, field acres, spacing, your speed, your average population, your low population, your high population, your distance, and then we're back to the population. I'm going to press enter so I can move on to the next area. And these are the things that I like to see is speed, total acres, and fill acres. If you have a GPS display, you really don't need to show your speed. So I'm going to get rid of my speed and I want my average population. So I'm going to press enter and there's my average population. So when a row fails, you, you see row fail and what row fails, which is row 14. To eliminate the row failure, press the enter key. And you're back in your operation mode. And what I'm going to do right now is shut the monitor off. Press the knob in for about 10 seconds. And the monitor is off. And that's the 2005 24-row monitor.